Welcome back guys to another episode of The Masochist. I did end up taking a little bit of a break guys, had some personal issues going on, but we're back. We got a lot of climbing to do, so we're going to get straight on into it. And it is the new update, so it is the whole Tenpai Doomsday era that we're in, so hopefully we don't run into too much of that. But without no further delay, let the masochism begin. Alright guys, first duel underway. We won the coin toss and we decided to let our opponent go first because like I always say, I think our deck is better suited for going second. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty terrible hand honestly. It's not good. We have a lot of monsters, really nothing here that we can make some play, like serious plays with. Um, forgot I got to take this card out of my out of my deck. We'll probably do that here in the next duel, but depending if hopefully this is a free win considering our opponent's name's free so maybe they just you know pull the plug and let us here have a rank up and that'd be an easy that's an easy master pack one of the easiest ones we've gotten guys so yeah we're gonna go and uh, open that master pack we got two legacy tickets and demotion which is not a good card so yep let's go open that and master pack please okay we get some glowing on the first one so far everything's been going fairly well right okay Two SRs, potentially one UR if they if they are URs. But we're gonna go card by card. So first card is Gadget Driver. Okay, so it's more Morphtronic support, which we're actually starting to build quite a pile for. Metaphys, Deladius. So this right here is actually a crazy effect. If we're able to like utilize this effect properly, we could potentially even like set up a crazy board with just this alone and the Metaphy, the other Metaphys card we have. So. Maybe something I might actually consider throwing in the deck. It's it's a really good card, though. I'm going to leave the SRs for last. This is a Noble Arms card. And, yeah, not one that we're probably going to use. Junk Puppet is for Gimmick Puppets, which we don't have any of. Worm Barsis. That's a terrible card. Saber Shark. Okay. This is a good card for the simple fact that we already have a water deck. Can't be used for Synchro Material, though, so that... Kind of a hefty, like, claws on this card, but the effect on overall is really good. Especially if we can reduce it. Yeah, this is a great card. This is this is going to definitely be thrown in the deck, 100%. And let's see what our SRs are. Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascendant. So this is what, for the Nordic? Okay, so this is probably not something that we're actually going to use or can actually use. And we got Naturia Rose Whip. Okay, that's a really good floodgate in itself on this card. So yeah, this is a great overall great uh, pack. It's a tuner too, so there's probably something we might be able to use. Overall, like I said, great, great pack. Um, Saber Shark, Rose Whip, and the Metaphys. Excellent pack. And we're back, guys. Obviously, our opponent will opponent won the coin toss. We're gonna they decided to go first. Um, they might be playing heroes or some crazy stuff. They have 15 cards in their extra deck. And we have a, a decent going first hand. It's an all right going second hand, but we don't really have plays here. Like, unless we decide, unless we draw something pretty significant or commit into Star Blast just to get the Kingfisher out, it's, it's you know, it's kind of honestly cooked. But we'll have to see what our opponent sets up and if we're even able to, like, have a, 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 a turn ourselves, right? So our opponent just spent like three minutes doing nothing and then just to end their turn i they might be playing tenpai i guess if they maybe they wanted to go first if they just skipped over their turn but we're gonna try to set up something right um the best we can really do is honestly jellyfish and set one and pass to be honest okay so our opponent does have some sort of response in their hand we're probably just gonna do this though. There's no point honestly in committing with the Kingfisher because its effect won't really do anything right now. Star Blast is kind of a waste just to have and obviously we've already normal summoned. We can't special summon this card anyways. So we're just gonna go for the attack. Alright, we're gonna punch our opponent directly. Puts a little bit of pressure on them and end our turn. This time our opponent commits something to the board. I have a feeling though that if unless their hand is like completely a brick fest, right? That they might be playing something going second and that's what they wanted to go second. Um But they're the ones who chose to go first, so okay. I think they might have just misclicked. I mean this is definitely Yeah, this is Tenpai, so 
going to be interesting to see what our deck can actually do. I know that some little bit about this deck, that it's like has crazy OTK like potential and stuff. So we're going to find out. Is it worth torrentially though? Since they've already committed to... They've already committed to a summon. Um, I think it's not. I think we're going to hold off and see what they actually end up Bruh. having. And then whatever it is, they're probably going to try to special summon it. Alright, what does this one do? Oh, this is like Poplar, actually. Okay, um... Actually kind of insane. Alright, so I think now we actually should Torrential and just destroy everything. It's got a second effect, actually, where it can tribute itself and then special summon a monster. Which is what they're gonna do right now, yeah. But once they, the chains goes off, the monster will be on the field and still get destroyed. This deck has been, like, st stupidly, like, hyped up to be, like, the end of all Master Duels. So, like, normally I probably would have honestly scooped to something like this because it's super meta relevant type of deck but we're gonna try our best honestly here i want to at least give it an attempt right we don't have anything though no, like to crack back with in, the, in our right now in our hand hopefully we draw into something that we can crack back with that ended up wiping every our monster as well but i mean it was either that or they possibly end the duel here we draw okay so we actually drew a monster that we can use um we're going to go ahead and just attack him again. So our opponent definitely has something they can respond here to our field. I don't, I don't know exactly know what, but they definitely do have something. Okay, so we're going to go into the battle phase. We'll attack, and we'll just end our turn. Well, if we had Ash, we would actually do something to this, but unfortunately we don't. So they're just going to honestly be able to get off this effect. They banish three. Okay, um, all of those are good cards. They grab the Chandra. Okay, so that's pretty much full combo, is it not? All we can hope is that we survive. And we're able to smashing ground for next turn. Okay, um... So we're going to use the effect, we might as well, I mean, not going to get a chance anyways, not to. This is a good card to have in our hand now. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we're able to survive this. And there's nothing crazy that comes too much from here, and we can smashing ground, and then somehow, like, come back from this. Okay, this, this deck is crazy, so they're able to use all their effects during the battle phase, they just synchro summon during our battle phase. At least we got to see it once, right? If we end up losing here, then, I mean, we're just not going to probably come, like, try to, like, beat these guys because the deck is kind of insane. All right, so they are able to attack again. Wow, that's so much damage. If they're synchro summoning again, I'm wondering to what. Okay. This is like the boss boss monster of the deck. Oh, I think that's game then. No, because it is half damage because of prosperity. Okay, so that's the only reason we survived is based on prosperity. But we are we are on critical life points now. We should be okay, I feel like. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is 100% over. That's actually crazy how much damage they can do. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. We are able to see what the deck does. Nothing we can do, unfortunately, to a deck like that. We don't really even have enough removal to create defensive wall enough for something. So there's something with that much, like, power level compared to us. So on to the next one. All right, guys, and we're back after that Tenpai beatdown. We won the coin toss. We decided to go second, though. Our opponent has 
Obviously a full extra deck as well. Hopefully it is in Tenpai and we're not just going to run into a Tenpai like slugfest here because we don't really have much we can do to a deck like that. Okay, so it's either Sword Soul or it's going to be um, like Branded. It, it's Sword Soul. Okay, well, this is another deck we don't really have much for. And they obviously have the Long Wand, so they're obviously going to go into Chang I mean, uh, Zixiao and possibly Barone, so we don't have anything for a setup that crazy. Okay, so it's not Barone, so we'll potentially see what we can do. Obviously, if any spell or trap we activate, they're going to banish it, and they can negate one card on the field, which is going to be our only monster. But Ragnarok has to actually like issue out damage, right? For it to do anything here properly, so... Well, I think we can go... Probably gonna, I wanted to put this in defense, but it won't let me do that, so... That's our entire play right here. We're gonna try to Torrential them. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah, this this video is gonna be called Master Duel is, Master Duel is Cooked, or Master Duel is Ruined. And we're back, guys. So our opponent won the coin toss. They decided to go first, which tells us that at least they're not playing Tenpai. I don't... They also have, obviously, a full, like, extra deck. So they're probably playing something kind of crazy. They set one face down, and they summon some sort of ninja thing. Oh, they are playing ninja. Okay. Man, it has been a brutal, like... Just attempt to climb. I can't even call it a climb because we're not climbing. But this has been an attempt to tr even try to climb. And it's just been a beat down after beat down with all, like all these constructed decks. Okay, yeah. So that already right there. That right there already makes it hard for us to be able to do anything. Like three monsters on the field already. Three monsters on the field already is going to be difficult for us to, to try to pierce through, right? So... The best we can do, honestly, I feel like is Successor Soul, maybe, and then whatever they're... Yeah, I think they're going to go into the Mazin. And if they do go into the Mazin, then we're going to Successor Soul it. And see what we can do from there. Um, Tyrant Dragon, we draw a brick in our, in, right now in our hand, which is not good. So, the only thing we can do is summon Zujin, which is terrible already in itself. Hopefully, we're able to get them to bite on it maybe they use the effect and start summoning ninjas maybe not okay um we're just gonna honestly shotgun this right here right now tribute our card get rid of their mazin obviously they're gonna probably be able to chain on top of it and summon something but it, it, it will be fine yeah so i actually think that we're cooked So we don't really have plays, honestly. They just set up a crazy board already here, like right in front of us. So all we can really do is torrential it and pray for the best. So that's our turn. We didn't, like I said, we didn't really have plays like that. Successor Soul was all we had. And it didn't matter what we targeted. Any, any card in the field, they were just going to activate this trap card, tribute it. And, you know, our card was just going to bounce. So, yeah, like I said, we're in a terrible position. Obviously, they have completely overcommitted so if this torrential just carries us then we have a kind of a chance to you know meteoris and get back into the game but at any moment they could just you know start popping off and we'll be right back in the same position we're at right now i wonder if that triggers it does okay we're gonna use it we have to use it okay so they're gonna put that back in their hands torrentials it wipes the field we get Meteoris out. But then we're kind of stuck. Like, we don't really have anything here we can do. We have two bricks on our hand, which does not help whatsoever. End their turn. That's a okay removal if it's, like, on our turn, right? But there's nothing here we can really do other than just go straight into the battle phase. So, that's what we'll end up doing. We'll just hit him for 2,000. And we're just going to hope that we end up actually 
drawn into some of our monsters that we can summon. Like, not these high level like bricks fest right now that we have going on. Let's hope that our opponent here didn't draw anything and they just whipped this draw. It's one card face down is not too bad. We know that they brought the trap right back into their hand. Alright, they got him an entire back row. If we had Feather Duster with this like this will probably be a wrap, right? But unfortunately we don't have really any good removal. Special Hurricane is good. It destroys all special summon monsters, but again, they're the only, they don't really have monsters at the moment, and we only have this one monster that, that we're able to honestly do anything with. So we're just going to attack them again. They are on a clock. They have two more turns that they can, if they potentially, you know, fail, like fail at their draws here. But with Ninja, it really only takes one Ninjutsu, the Ninjutsu spell card, this one. One notebook, and then they're right back into the game, and then we're just kind of, we're kind of pretty much done. We'll fight as long as it takes for us to at least, or as long as we can here. Right, that's a card that they can use. I mean, they could crash. I put them at 2,000. Okay, so that's in itself is... Oh my god. We, we don't have a way right now to really... Really set up anything. I would take Star Blast at this point and just... Sacrifice some life points just to get something here on the board, because... The way that this is going, this is this ain't going well, guys. We're we really don't have a playable hand. We have two forms of removal during our turn, which aren't really going to do too much impact here, especially considering that this is not a normal. I mean, not a special summon. But let's just hope we draw into any monster. That's that's a good card. All right, we're gonna smashing ground this thing, and hopefully it actually resolves. And we're able to like start setting up something. So let's go ahead, activate Smashing Ground. I don't even know if this protects it or not. So we can actually like special hurricane this. Okay, all right, well, that was honestly a goaded move. Summon the jellyfish and we're just gonna attack. Yeah, it at least adds, um, like a little bit of a wall for us, right? So we're gonna now use the effect. Special summon the general. Alright, and now we're actually gonna start cracking back at this guy. I know that that's gonna, its effect's gonna go off, right? He's gonna be able to add a ninja monster back to his hand. But it is what it is. Like the only thing we have is special hurricane. Um, I'm trying to save it for if they end up setting up a board like they did their first turn. Then we'll just pitch it. We'll keep the jellyfish. Hopefully it's still in our hand, and we'll be able to do something here with it. All right. So we're just gonna attack. We have him on a serious clock. They have to have something crazy this next turn, or we win this duel. But I don't want to obviously like get too excited because like i said ninja it just takes one notebook and we're right back into where we started but so far we have a decent field right now set up and they end their turn but they have no monster we know we can attack directly i forgot we, we need to add actually a level one mon uh, dragon so that we can use this otherwise this is a dead card for us all right we're just gonna go straight into attack and hope that this this resolves guys that that duel honestly looked impossible to win, especially with that first turn setup they had. But somehow we were able to overcome Ninja with our Masochist deck. And that's a well-earned Master Pack, so we're going to go and crack that pack right now. They gave us one Legacy ticket. Alright, let's crack that pack, guys. No glow on this one, unfortunately. After that crazy duel. But, I mean, it is what it is. We get Reverse Jar. It's a decent effect, but it's probably not something we'll run. Frost Blast of the Monarchs. So this is a pretty good card, obviously, because we're able to target, like, this is good removal in itself for back row, but may maybe something we might consider honestly using for the simple fact that it definitely has good removal, like, effect on it, and we, we can't really use this, right? Because we don't have any Monarchs, I'm pretty sure, like, spell traps that we can actually, like, synergize this with, but maybe something considered worth playing in the deck, right? Exterior's Fang. This is actually a pretty good card, and we do have a lot of Naturia like stuff that we're actually already pulling. 
So maybe something worth to use. It's also a counter trap, so I'm pretty sure they can't respond to it. This is for plants, which we don't have any. Sunvine Shrine. This is a pretty good card. Uh, it's a good continuous spell for obviously like the plant archetype, which we don't actually have. So we're not going to actually use, right? Emblem of the Plunder Patrol is for Plunder Patrol, which I think we only have one Plunder Patrol like we've pulled since we've started. This is for Tang Dangle Intruder. I've never seen or heard of this archetype ever in my life. And if we haven't heard of it, it means we do not have it. A Dark Lord card. Okay. It's not really honestly a good card and it's probably not something we'll end up playing. And Carbenadon. I've never honestly seen this card e either. This Mecha Godzilla looking ass. But this card battles a fire monster. Okay, so I mean, we're going to be probably playing against a lot of Tempai. But problem is that it, it, the effect only works on a, drag a, a normal dragon monster. Which we're not running really any normals. So yeah, overall it's a complete miss of a pack. But it is what it is. Let's get right back into those duels. You guys, right before we start, I definitely wanted to come and look at the new stuff at the shop i see that we have we have a couple new mates in here um probably not something i honestly want to run maybe maybe the purely maybe but um the one thing i definitely wanted to grab was the new the new dual field the, the sinful spoil one looks so nice so we're gonna purchase this and we're gonna throw it in here hopefully i remember to throw it in here for the next duel and we're back guys, so our opponent doesn't really have a crazy extra deck this time. We ended up winning the coin toss, I decided for us to go second. Uh, and we got a handful of monsters, like always, right? We either have a, a decent hand with some removal, but this time we have a hand with just one removal, which is a monster, and you can contribute a trap card, which we don't have anything, obviously, in our hand here that can do such a thing, but... Yeah, I mean, we keep drawing this brick. Like, why can't we draw the other one, the Ragnarok? That way we can actually go into the Matsuraru. No, we keep drawing the brick. Like, it's been glued to my hand this entire time. So we don't know if our opponent's playing, obviously, a uh, effect monster because it's flipped face down. So all we can really do is summon this guy. Um, we might end up equipping this in case, obviously. Just in case, right? It, it might actually lose it, right? But we'll equip it just in case that card has higher, like, defense than our attack. Which it didn't, so it didn't really come into play. And, yeah, we're going to put Successor Soul face down and in our turn. That's all we can really do, right? This is our only form of interruption, and it's a great interruption, right? If we would have had this, like, every single time we're in a duel, I'd be more than glad. Like, this is sometimes enough to be able to like end your opponent's turn but unfortunately the one card that keeps glue to my hand is this tyrant dragon with star blast in our hand and tyrant dragon it's not so bad yeah that's fine honestly might be worth might be worth honestly doing this just because we're gonna lose it anyway so cosmo queen Time to reign supreme. And hopefully that's enough to end their turn, right? We can get Spear Shark here out next turn. Or they don't like, you know, destroy this poor card here that we have. Because we just committed quite a bit on the board. Two face down is kind of terrifying, but like... I I'm gonna I'm gonna actually try to go for game. Because if they are playing some like Utopia deck, then stalling is not the right move to make in my opinion. 1500, 1600. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're going to go straight for the attack and punch him right in his nose. So they are on a severe clock, right? Next turn, they have to have something or we have one. Honestly, might be worth going into the, the Witch Raider here next turn, no matter what. Like, if they don't set up any crazy, like, monster that are able to, like, obviously clap back at us right now, then we're, yeah, we're just going to make a play right here and go with Witch Raider and see where that takes us. That's a crazy card. That is a crazy card. So we're actually going to need to do something like Witch Raider. But the problem is, is that he's... They're definitely going to over here and just des like destroy a card, right? So now we're actually kind of in a losing position. We're, we're going to go ahead and destroy this card right now. Because we don't want them to set up any type of board. We might be able to like commit for game maybe. We'll have to see, right? Well, 
Actually, we're going to be able to because we're going to summon. Like, I'm going all in right now. Um, or I guess our only option here is to just destroy this card. It's not enough for game. I thought we were going to be able to get out this goatee, but it obviously needs to banish two fish monsters from hand and or graveyard. And they're not all fish. They're just water. One is fish. So that's pretty much all we can do here. I guess if we would have summon this like special summon this goatee uh, the shade of goatee the synopsis or snopios we still wouldn't have had game we'd have a little bit more obviously presence on the board and threaten them a little bit more but we wouldn't have game though so let's hope that they just top deck like another brick or something and we can wrap this up and go up in a master pack okay i'm not exactly sure what this is so they ended up grabbing a rank up but there's nothing they can do with that because I don't think they can actually exceed into anything just yet. This looks like it's just a starter deck. So, you know, beneficial for us to run into something like this so that we can actually... Okay, yeah, that works too. I mean, we were going to go into Wish Raider and wipe their field anyway. So, perfect. Let's see if we get any legacy tickets. Nope, nope. Not blessed with any legacy tickets this time. It's fine, it's fine. Let's go up in that Master Pack. Okay, I, I'm happy with that. Obviously, Utopia shows up again here to, to greet us. It might not be any SRs in this pack, but we'll have to wait and see. Or Sardic McBillis, which I'm pretty sure we actually have already in our Sardic. Um, yeah, it's good because of the simple fact that you obviously tribute like a card. So that obviously will get us, you know, at least a special summon. But we would need to have the other one in our hand. It's not a terrible card since we are already playing something like that. Amazonas Tiger. It's a pretty good card, right? But we don't have enough of the archetype for it to make any like any sense to add it. This is a Toon Monster, which we can't use. Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. Okay, this can attack directly, but it's half. It's not a good card for us, unfortunately. Scareclaw Arrival is a great card in its archetype, which we don't have any of. Naturia Maron. Okay, so this is a good card for the simple fact that we just have a lot of Naturias, right? Um, it's good for pitching more Naturias in the graveyard. But unfortunately, I don't think we have enough. The Argenix Overseer is good for Genix. Again, all of this is so archetype specific that it's just a... It, it's been honestly a bad pack. I have to see if we, what kind of war rock we have if we have any to begin with, but it's a pretty good normal trap. Um, I don't know if it's worth committing a one of for just to draw this and and like getting the effect, if, especially if the monsters we don't we, if we even have any war rocks if they're even worth like even getting on the field. But yeah, overall this has been a bad pack. So and right before we wrap things up, guys, I wanted to come check here the proficiency test since it's been quite some time since I've last seen it to see what our conditions were. And we need to Ritual, Pendulum, and Link Summon three times. I, the Pendulum and Link Summons, I'm more than certain I can get these conditions met. Like, or, like, organically. But the Ritual Summon one might be a little bit more difficult. Just for the simple fact that we don't have enough cards here to actually, like, meet this condition. We have to draw the Ritual spell and also the monster. And we only have one of that we can actually do that in a, card, in a deck of 40 cards. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but we'll see what we can do here, honestly, to meet this condition. But that's going to be it, guys, for this episode. If you guys made it this far in the video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe so you can see more content like this. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.